Alright, how's it going? Stop Teenage Shit, Stop Teenage It's time for some campaign mode in FIFA Mobile 18. So I'm really excited to share this with you because this is probably one of my favorite modes to play. Love the rewards, love all the different things that you can do in it. Um, again, a big shout out to the Game Changers program and EA for flying us down to Vancouver to let us check this out so we can share it with you. Um, so things may be a little bit different than they are in the actual game, you know, rewards, those kind of things. Um, but we want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into this campaign mode and show you what to expect when the game launches. So let's Let's get into it and let's have some fun. Alright, so here we go. Cristiano Ronaldo pops up and tells us that we have unlocked campaigns and verse attack mode. Now, I'm really excited about this one. As I said, it is super fun. Um, once you finish off your things, you can basically go in um, and start with your very first campaign. And this is going to be based on whichever league you started with. So if you picked a player from Arsenal, we're going to get the English League first that we can go through um, and start our campaign mode on that one. So there's a whole bunch of chapters, chapters 1 through 5, with different events that you can actually go through on each. Each one. Uh, so what's really cool about this, you start it off, intros you, tells you everything that you need to know about it, uh, but there's a mix. So the first match that we get to do, it's basically just a skill game. And at the end of each one of these ones, you get a specific set of rewards that you can get, including a starter player, a chance at a starter player, um, like the ones that we talked about in the Budget Beast video as well. So we start off with some PKs against Courtois, which probably is not the best keeper to go against because we got absolutely stood up on that second PK. But if you're doing this one, you're fine it difficult try going to the left I kind of feel like going to his left was a lot better than the other one um, I'm also not sure if it actually is just against Chelsea every single time or if it's against Chelsea because we're Arsenal um, if you've gone through this one and you're like hey that's not the team I want to get put in the comments below um, let's kind of get an idea of how this works as we go for our final one we tried a little nice chip shot um, but we didn't hold it down long enough. If you do want to know how to do that though, just hold your finger on the screen until the target comes up and then swipe up and you'll be able to get that. So here you go. First rewards, a thousand coins, XP, and a silver player just from playing that skills event. I definitely like that. I definitely like that there as we get some stamina as well for leveling up and moving on to the next one. So again, it switches up. So in our second one, we're doing a match but the nice thing about it, you know, remember season mode, just going through, every match is the same. We actually start with a bit of a different situation, uh, two to nothing. Uh, we're also going to show you here because we popped up and we didn't have any of the controls. So if you go into the pause screen, you can turn off gesture and then you have that control pad right there for you. So again, very nice feature because now you can actually turn it off and you can use the, the extra buttons that are actually there. You can do through balls now. Um, one other thing is you can notice there's a whole bunch of arrows on the keypads. If you like, if you click on it and like push up, um, like for on the on the uh, skill move one for example if your player can do the rainbow flick they'll do the rainbow flick same thing for like a fake shot if you slide to the left you do fake shots here we go getting a PK against us puts it in we dive the wrong direction because they just shoot it right at us I don't think we ever really stood a chance on that PK right there um, but definitely enjoy playing these matches it's a little bit more fun than just grinding out the entire team and the competition is actually fairly decent but anyways our second reward I don't even remember what's in it because it's been so long but another thousand coins and then a bronze player so not quite as good as the first one um, and you can see too what's kind of interesting on the side there it lists everything that you can actually get out of it so we were able to get the you know bronze a better player and a chance at a starter player so kind of giving you an idea of what's actually inside as we go in and I love that skill event one goal that's all we had to score was one goal now you may be like hey I did the the Bundesliga one it's a little bit different it is different for each campaign they don't follow the same structure the same routine which I think is really awesome kind of mixes it up and keeps it interesting for us as we go through there so anyway Anyways, on to the next one. Ronaldo pops up, tells us we've unlocked some new features and everything like that as we go to our final match here to get our first one unlocked and unlock every other single campaign. So once you beat the first one, you actually unlock every other campaign in there. So again, why do you want a good starter player for stuff like this? Look at our starter player just outrun every single player on the team, puts it in the back of the net, and a beautiful goal there from the Arsenal striker. So he's celebrating his goal, uh, but this is really interesting. I, I kind of teased about this before, but the competition, I don't know if just because I didn't play very well um, or my defense wasn't very good, but I found like they were so strong on defense, uh, but maybe a bit weaker on offense. So I was able to get a lot of goals, but I had to do some pretty good like defending to stop them from scoring a bunch of goals. In my opinion, that was not a goal 
goal that would have got scored too often on me in season one. So it kind of seems like they've like upped the difficulty. I'm hoping they've upped the difficulty. Let me know though what you think about that. Um, did you find that it's maybe a bit more difficult on defense, easier on offense like me, or did you find something completely different when you were playing the game? Anyways, we put in a goal, get it back up, and this one. I got to share this next goal that they scored because I don't even really like know what happened. It's like one of the weirdest goals uh, the kids put in there. So they try it from half first off, and then they go in, and it somehow the keeper saves it. They get it at the top of the box, put it in the back of the net, and they're somehow getting the goal there. So I'll give it to them. They got the goal, but very, very strange for the goal. And then again, they come back. We get a goal. They get a goal. It's a back and forth game until like 55th minute where we finally actually start to pull away on this one um, and get some goals here. But again, that starting player, this is why it's so important. It can help you so much in these campaigns. It can help you get started in verse attack, everything like that. So here we go. The game is about to end. We finally hold off onto it. We get our victory. It is time to claim our final reward, unlock all the other campaigns, because we've finished off our first one. So once we get our final reward, you can see in this package, it comes with our coins and it comes with the player. We move on to our final one. We get the present, click on the present, claim the present, and in this one comes out with the campaign unlock um, and some additional things as well. So you get the, the campaign, campaign unlock and we get some FIFA cash and then our starter player as well. So finishing off the campaign, that now is going to allow us to play any of the other ones. Uh, the Bundesliga, we got the rest of the world, we got the you know Eastern Europe, Western Europe, a whole bunch of different leagues going on in there. So you can see the other thing, once we finish this, we can move on to chapter two. Rewards change a bit, events change a bit. It's That's kind of the cool part, it's always changing. Cristiano Ronaldo comes up, says so the same thing we said. We get all the other ones coming up now. We can see Spain there, uh, we see Germany there, Italy there, uh, France there, and each one you're going to want to see this at the very end, at chapter 5. We're going to go through each of the chapters. We're going to show you kind of things with there. But when we get to chapter 5, you're going to want to see what happens. Because on chapter 2, it's a little bit more complicated. The rewards get a little bit better. Chapter 3, a little bit longer. You know, you got this big journey to go through. Chapter 4, big journey. Lots of complicated things. Lots more rewards and everything happening. But the big one. Chapter 5, right there in the middle. Pogba at 90 overall Pogba card. If you click on the little tre uh, treasure right below it, you can actually see the stats on the card as well. So a very nice card, very nice card art with these cards. Starts off basically at a master level, which is awesome. So you can see here along the side, there's also some other players that you can pick up um, from around the English Premier League as well. So really cool there. Um, really definitely like that feature that they have where you can basically get a whole bunch of elites, master elites, just grinding through this campaign mode. Mode, um, in that one so definitely uh, a fan of kind of how they've laid this one out we're gonna go to the Spanish League we go into here we see Sergio Ramos in the middle his leg is so complicated there's a whole bunch of like everything just going into the middle there as we look at the four players around the outside of this one as well so we're just gonna go through each of these ones one at a time I'll ramble on about nothing as we go through it uh, but I kind of want you to see what all the master players that you get at the end of each of these ones are as we move on to the Germany League Lewandowski is gonna be the master here so we search around for him. We see all the players in the middle, and there on the bottom or middle right, I guess, is Lewandowski. Um, another beastly card in that one. I think actually there's a couple more players in there. Actually, no, I think it's only four. But anyways, Italy. Italy is one that you are really going to want to complete. When you see the card at the end, you may be like, okay, who's it going to be? It is Buffon, and his stats are absolutely unbelievable. You're going to see it in a second here, but I think he's going to put Oblak to the test as we go in, we look at Buffon, we can see him, you can click on his thing, brings it up, over a hundred of goalkeeper diving and positioning, that is a card and a half right there. Uh, but if you click below, this is another interesting feature. So you can see it requires you to have a 90 overall team just to try that last match. So it's, it's kind of like you're like, okay, well I can grind through it all, I can just play it. It doesn't really work like that. In order to grind to these final players, you do have to unlock some other criteria as well. So whether it's like league versus league wins, whether it's, you know, verse stack wins. I don't really know what all the different criteria are, um, but you'll have different things that go along the way. That, for example, is you need a 90 overall team. So you can't just get yourself an unbelievable Buffon card. You have to actually kind of earn it with a 90 overall team first and then build through it. So a very depthly program. Really enjoy the depth of it. Really enjoy what they've done to put it together. And I'm excited to see like they talk about how like live events in this is basically how everything is going to happen with this in the game. So I'm really excited to see what happens with this in the future as you start moving forward through these different campaigns. But at the 
start. Like this is like this is the start of campaign mode, and already it's so like it's so much depth and it's so much different things. But let me know what you think about it. Let me know, you know, do you like this program? Are you like excited to start grinding campaigns? Which campaigns do you want to start with? Are you going to start with the MLS? Are you going to start with the German league? Are you going to start with the English league? Which ones you kind of want to start with? After obviously, you know, you may pick a different one depending on who you pick for your starter player. Um, but what's the one that you want to go for? As we start to go through our last couple tokens, we're going to sign off and just let you see the last few remaining masters. Thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop D.